Imagine a colossal frozen giant, older than most buildings, bigger than several cities combined, embarking on a one-way trip. Its destination? Oblivion. Meet A23A, the world's oldest and biggest iceberg, finally on its last odyssey. In the heart of the frozen continent, nestled amidst the labyrinthine crevices of the Larsen Sea ice shelf, our story begins. It's 1986, a year etched in Earth's icy memory. Here, nestled within the ancient embrace of the glacier, a colossal slumberer stared. Cracks snaked their way across its pristine surface, whispering promises of freedom. Then, with a shudder that echoed across the frozen plains, a section of the ice shelf, larger than several cities combined, ripped itself free. This wasn't just any iceberg. It was A23A, a behemoth born from the ancient heart of Antarctica. At over 4,000 square kilometers, its size dwarfed Rhode Island and Jamaica combined. It was a city of ice adrift in a frozen sea. A23A broke off from West Antarctica's Filkner Ron Ice Shelf in 1986 and had been mostly stationary since its base got stuck on the floor of the Weddell Sea. Recent satellite images show a change, indicating that the iceberg, weighing almost a trillion metric tons, is rapidly drifting past the northern tip of the Antarctic Peninsula. This movement is due to strong winds and currents. Its towering cliffs, sculpted by millennia of wind and tide, stood a staggering 400 meters high, taller than the London Shard, Europe's tallest skyscraper. But for all its grandeur, A23A remained tethered to the Antarctic seabed, a captive giant in a land of ice and silence. As A23A drifted, it wasn't just hurtling across space, it was hurtling through time. Each tiny bubble trapped within its glacial heart held a whisper of Earth's ancient past. These frozen time capsules, some dating back millennia, contained air samples from a colder, less polluted planet. As the sun warmed the iceberg, these bubbles burst, releasing their secrets in a silent symphony. Scientists, like time detectives, analyze the trapped air, revealing tales of Earth's past climate, atmospheric composition, and even ancient life forms. Each crackle and hiss whispered of a time when glaciers covered the vast swaths of the planet, when mammoths roamed the tundra, and humans were just taking their first steps on the evolutionary ladder. A23A's journey wasn't just a physical drift, it was a scientific treasure trove, offering a precious glimpse into the chapters of Earth's history previously locked away in frozen time. By studying these time capsules, scientists could better understand the delicate balance of our climate and predict how future changes might affect our planet. But as A23A's icy pages turned, they also brought a poignant reminder of time's relentless march. Each crack and carving chipped away not just at the iceberg, but at the precious archive of Earth's past. A23A's final waltz wasn't a graceful pirouette through open waters. It was a perilous tango with danger, a slow-motion collision course with an intricate web of life that thrived in its path. Its gargantuan form loomed like a leviathan in the southern ocean posing a potential threat to shipping lanes. A silent giant capable of wreaking havoc on fragile ecosystems. After being stuck to the Antarctic Ocean floor for three decades, the iceberg is now moving north in what might be its final journey. It holds approximately 1 trillion tons of fresh water, expected to melt into the ocean along the way. The iceberg, reaching up to 400 meters in thickness in certain areas, is currently drifting between Elephant Island and the South Orkney Islands. Strachan spoke to AFP while his ship, operated by the expedition's company EYOS, was concluding a private tour of the Antarctic Peninsula. Originally planning to visit South Georgia Island, the ship changed its course to A23A due to a bird flu outbreak in South Georgia. 
It wasn't the first vessel to witness the grandeur of the iceberg. Imagine a colossal iceberg bigger than several cities combined, drifting towards a bustling highway of the sea. Ships, mere specks compared to its grandeur, were forced to navigate around its ever-shifting bulk, a single wrong turn potentially leading to catastrophe. And it wasn't just steel hulls that A23A threatened. As it melted, its freshwater plume disrupted ocean currents, potentially altering delicate feeding grounds for penguins, seals, and countless other marine creatures. But amidst the fear, there was awe. A23A's demise, though potentially dangerous, was a powerful display of nature's raw force. Its slow motion collapse, the thunderous groans of its cracking eyes, the ethereal beauty of its melt water streams resonated with a primal fascination. It was a stark reminder of the delicate balance of our planet, a living canvas where life and death, beauty and peril danced in an eternal tango. Even as A23A threatened, it also provided. Its fresh water released in a slow glacial ballet, nourished the thirsty southern ocean, feeding plankton and fueling the intricate web of marine life. A23A's final act wasn't just a physical disintegration. It was a symphony of ice, a concerto of groans, cracks, and whispers played out on a stage of frozen water. Its towering cliffs, sculpted by eons of wind and waves, became instruments in this icy orchestra, their groaning moans echoing across the vast southern ocean. Each fissure in its surface became a percussionist symbol, its sharp snap resonating through the air. Wind whistling through its crevices transformed into a haunting flute solo, while the gurgling water at its base mimicked a deep cello drone. Even the sun, glinting off its sapphire peaks, played its part creating a kaleidoscope of shimmering blues and whites, a fleeting masterpiece destined to melt into oblivion. As the sun warmed its embrace, A23A surrendered to its fate with a slow, melancholic grace. Its once pristine surface became etched with a web of meltwater channels, each a tiny vein carrying its lifeblood back to the ocean. Icebergs smaller than children broke free, swirling around the mother giant-like ballerinas in a frozen waltz. A23A's final journey is a poignant reminder of the impermanence of even the mightiest giants. It's a story of loss, beauty, and the interconnectedness of our planet. Share your thoughts and feelings about A23A's journey into the comments below. What does it symbolize for you? Let's keep the conversation going. And if you like this video, click the next one shown on the screen. I'm sure you'll love it. Thanks for watching.